All right, all right, all right. What's up, guys? Irish Gamer signing on back with another video. We are back on Reg 8 doing some Wi Fi battles on the ladder. And today I want to showcase the team I actually made to get Master Ball tier in this season. I peaked at around top 3,000, which is pretty good if I do say so myself. I haven't been Master Ball tier since I think Regulation D or C. I think it was C. Yeah, it was C. So I'm pretty excited. I want to try my best to get Master Ball again. And we were able to get it with this team that I made myself. Again, very proud of it. Uh, it's a take on Rain. I just kind of want to go through it and then we'll get some games with it. First up, we got Rillaboom. This is a Pokemon I knew I wanted to use. I think it's one of the better Pokemons in the format. I actually think it's better than Incineroar. And I needed a Grass type to make this team work. So it's a very basic Miracle Seat set with U-Turn. You know it, you love it. It also has Fire Terra, which is like pretty standard. Next up, if it's going to be a Rain team, we got to have Pelipper. Basic Sash, Max Speed, Tailwind Protect, Hurricane, Weather Ball, pretty standard there. We actually have Ground Terra on this one to stop Electric type moves, which is pretty nice. Next up, this is where the team gets a little unique. I wanted to add my own flavor. We have Hisuian Samurott, a Sharpness Choice Scarf set. And yeah, this thing's really fast. <laughs> You're pretty much outspeeding most Pults because they're adamant. So we can actually run adamant ourselves. Put enough speed investment in to outspeed the adamant dragapults and just like that we're outspeeding essentially all of the format sacred sword hits hard particularly when it comes to opposing our chalodons and i really wanted to put ceases edge because i like using the uh signature moves of pokemon but i despise missing i actually would have gotten master ball so much quicker but i missed like five ceases edges and i got so mad so we're running knockoff it's not boosted by sharpness but because of its secondary effect of doubling the damage when a Pokemon holds an item, you're still getting the same damage, so it's whatever. And we actually have full Dark Terra on this guy, so we can kill essentially all bulky Golden Goes, because Golden Go can actually survive a knockoff, so we want to make sure that we get our damage and a kill on Golden Go when we need it, because he can be kind of an issue for this team, especially if he gets set up with Nafi Plot, which is what most of the bulky sets are anyway, so yeah. Speaking of Golden Go, we got one of our own. And it's literally a bulky basic nasty plot set <laughs> with leftovers. Um, the goal of this one is to kill Primarina. So we have plus two, full steel terra, make it rain, will kill essentially all Primarinas that we come across. We almost never die to an instant knockoff or a King Gambit Black Glasses Sucker Punch either, which is very nice. And we just have leftovers, which combined with Grassy Surge from Rillaboom, we can heal back our damage pretty efficiently. Next up, we got another grass type in Amoongus. So when designing this team, the core five was was uh, obvious. We'll talk about our Chalodon later. But my team was really struggling against two things. Mouse Ape and those like hype. It's not combo trick room, but like side spam plus like Torquil or Lilligant stuff. Those teams were getting very annoying. So we have this Amoongus with Mental Herb. This is so we can take a taunt from like a mouse hold and just spore the annihilate and just like that we're in a better spot and we're actually ev to take a four times rage fizz from a normal bulk up set and even if it's somehow for some reason max attack and adamant we have a 30 percent chance to live so i thought that was a good baseline and also we can live psycho cut from delayed and then we have water terra to survive armor cannon from armor reach so yeah that was essentially all this thing is for just a matchup, reassure. Uh, clear smog for Don Dozo and then Pollen Puff to heal back Archaladon, Golden Go, Rill Boom. That's pretty obvious. Lastly, Archaladon. Uh, arguably the best Pokemon in the format. Dragon Meteor, Flash Cannon, Electroshot, Snarl, Basic Assault Vest set. We actually have Fairy, Ter Fairy Terra and Stalwart because there's a decent amount of things that have fighting moves in this game. Glade has risen up in usage and uh, Annihilate as well. So, yeah. And I also have Stalwart because. Follow me can kind of ruin this team's momentum. And honestly, I don't really need stamina. I've always thought Stalwart was better, personally. But that's just me. All right, so let's go ahead and get into to these games. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy. Uh, help me out a lot. You, we gained a lot of subs this past like two weeks. So thank you guys so much for the support. I'm really liking making these videos. So let's go get into some games. All right, first game. Uh... Hmm, cool team. Probably just normal tarot band Dragonite. Probably screens Grim Snarl.
I think this is my... Oh, uh, well, I could lead our child on here. Right, I could. I think I want to lead Golden Go, so I don't get faked out. Because I think he's going to set up screens with Grimmsnarl first. And I hope my Rillaboom is faster, so I get fake out first. Hopefully. But we'll see. And hey, if we bait out a tear on the Grimmsnarl, that's perfectly fine with me. I guess the Grimmsnarl could have fake out as well, but I'm not really concerned about that. Then we'll just bring Pelipper and our Chaladon in the back, I think. And I think we're all set. Just in case that Rillaboom gets out of hand. I don't feel comfortable bringing Samurott. Extreme Speed will go over my Choice Scarf as well. So we're going to bring our Chaladon. I've seen a lot of trainer cards with uh, Latias. I think that's Latias, right? I, I always get confused between Latias and Latios. Okay. Expected. Uh, honestly, the question now is, do I just steal Terra? <laughs> do I just steal Terra and try going for a double knockout here? I feel like I should pick up the knockout regardless, but... Again, I don't have max special attack, so if he's like max special defense, he actually might live. Ah, scared money don't make money, baby. Okay, that's cool. Probably Incineroar coming out here. Or Rillaboom, doesn't really matter. Yeah, Incineroar, makes sense. Okay, so... We know three of his Pokemon. I would suspect the last one is Dragonite. Because if not, I don't think his damage output is like that absurd. But I suspect the last one will be Dragonite. This uh, Glamora probably Earth powers me. Yep. I should live. Cool. Okay. Got a sash set on that. That's actually okay, because that is better than a uh, Grimmsnarl coming in for free. want to handle this. I could U-turn the Glamora. From this range, it should die, even with a Grassy Terrain, giving it a little bit of healing. I also could just Grassy Glide, of course. I definitely want to switch out my Golden Go for Rillaboom. For not, not my Golden Go for Pelipper, excuse me. Um, yeah, we'll just do the basic play. If he protects, well, if he spiky shields with his, uh, Glamora, that's perfectly fine. We also get rid of some Flare Blitz damage, if that's the case. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Earth Power? Cool. Okay, so now what we're going to do... Uh, nah, I can just Grassy Glide. I think I can just... Yeah, I think I can just Grassy Glide and, uh... Okay, we won't bring Grimstar here, that's fine. Cool. Great damage. Oh, he's probably going to switch out his Glamora here. And so we are going to. 
on a U-turn. And we'll Weather Ball. He does not switch out. This goes for damage, that's fine. I'm gonna bring out Golden Go here. He should bring out Incineroar. If we bring out Dragonite, that's fine. And then I'm just going to Tailwind. I need my Golden Go to be faster. <clears throat> I need both my Golden Go and my Pelipper to be faster than the Skulmora. Ooh, his last Pokemon still be on. Okay. My play is the same. Because this Sylveon can't really touch me, unless he fires arrows, so. Yeah. I suspect a Fire Terra here now. Since I just popped this Tailwind. Probably Hyper Voice coming. Yep. So I kind of want to get a nasty plot here. Um, I'm now fast. Both my Pokemon are faster than this Glamora, so I can kill it whenever I want to. The main question is, do I think this Sylveon has Terra Blast? I don't know. I wonder how often they run Terra Blast. It's pretty common. So... I'll just ensure a kill on this Glamora. Oh, he just protects. I could have nasty plotted. Uh, I don't know why he's not terroring. Right? I don't know why he's not. Very odd. That he's just not terror. It almost makes me think that it's not uh what's it called? It makes me think that it's not fire terror, but it definitely is. Protect and switch out. I just really need him to show me this Terra. That's kind of the main thing right now. He just doesn't want to show me it, man. I don't know. He just doesn't want me to. Sh he just doesn't want to show me it. Uh, I had to. I really don't need to miss a Draco here. See if he just protects again. Eventually, this man. Okay, he just protects. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. It. I guess it's full fairy. It is now. I'm now convinced he doesn't have fire terror. I am now convinced because he would have used it. There is no reason for him not to use it. That's fine. 
That's fine, I'm faster than both still. I'll go for the Draco now. And now he does it. I'm so I just don't get it. He waited so long. Okay, it is Fairy Terra, so we had it right. Huh. I should have just made the call sooner. He clearly didn't have it. We hit Draco, this should kill and send. My Golden Ghost shouldn't die here, so we should win. Jesus, I was playing around Terra a little bit too much. Playing around Terra a little bit too much, I think. Uh, I mean, this should kill. <laughs> Hopefully it does. Hopefully this kills. That actually might be a roll. Cool. Alright, that took longer than it needed to. Uh, I just did not expect a full fairy Terra. We played it safe, but we still got it. Alright, GG's to my man. Ugh, that was stressful. <laughs> I felt like I was going crazy, dude. Oh my gosh. Just Terra already. Alright. GG's, let's get our next one. Alright. Ooh, this is an interesting team. Uh, Inteleon and Kilowattril. I actually made an a team with Inteleon on it. I actually really like it. Uh, my thought is that that Inteleon is either Scope Lens or Sash. Uh, my thought would be... Hmm, both the Meow and Inteleon could be Sash. Honestly, the Kilowattril could be Sash as well. So we're going to have to tread kind of lightly here. Hmm. Part of me is thinking we could get Nasty Plot with Golden Go will be in the clear. Against most of his team. But I don't know how I want to set it up is the question. Err, okay. I also don't know if that thing has Bull Absorb or Competitive or whatever. Which is also a big issue. I'm gonna do this. Uh... Samurai, I think, is just good enough for me to bring it. Do I want to bring Amoongus or Pelipper or Archaladon? Or, or Let's do this. I don't think I need our Chaladon in this game. I don't think I do. Because that Inteleon also gets... Uh, well... If it is Vol Absorb, I think our Chaladon would not be as good. Draco is like, okay. Okay, I think we're looking at a fake out nasty plot play here. And then we'll U turn, protect next turn. I don't. I suspect that this Kilowatch was either just gonna self tear one or attack. Yeah. Uh. Doesn't look to be choice specs. Which is good. And honestly, we may just ground Terra here with uh, Pelipper.
both of you turning, which is nice. Um... Oh, it's banded. I would suspect that's band damage. Uh, oh, this is fine. This is fine. Ooh, cool shiny. Moongus actually would have been pretty nice here. So we know that we can take hits from this Kilowatto, so I'm not concerned about it. So what we'll do, we will knock this off. And just Shadow Ball this. That should kill. Wonderful. It was the Scopeland set, so this thing might be fast. I'm actually fine with this dying. Yep, that was the sass. So the Meowskarat is definitely banned. So what we'll do now, we'll bring in Rillaboom again. Um, Kill Watcher and Teleon, Meowskarata. I know he had a Cleavor. Um, what was his lot? I can never remember. I honestly, I should start taking screenshots of the team so I can actually remember. But we'll just bring in Rillaboom here for fake out pressure. He brings me Oscar Auto. Perfect. Uh, we're just gonna fake out, make it rain here, and we'll be good to go. Cool beans. Um, I he had. Oh, I didn't even bother checking the rest of his team, but yeah, we'll kill the Rillaboom. Perfectly fine. We'll kill both here. Yep. Make it rain. Dead. The team works. The team works. I'm very happy with it. One thing I really like doing is making like slightly different versions of like popular archetypes so especially it took a while because i needed to gain my knowledge of the format which is why i mainly start off my teams just doing like balance that's essentially all i do to start off a format uh what tarot would this be Yeah, so how I start off a format typically um, is just create a balanced team of good stuff, and I use that to learn the format, and then I kind of build creative takes. Well, not they're not that creative, but my personal takes on different formats. Not different formats, different archetypes in a format. So this is my version of Rain. I also made a Whimsicott Typhlosion team that's been popular. Um, I made a Psyspan team. That actually has Inteleon on it, as I've talked about before. I'm working on a Sand team, also. Just some cool stuff. Skill Terra makes sense. Big Rock Slides here, perfectly fine. We got Sash. Although flinching would not be good. Sword Dance, that's fine. Because I am now faster than you. We should pick up this W. Yeah, beautiful. We're definitely picking it up. Yes, sir. I'm actually very excited. I'm probably going to show off my size spam team this weekend. I am very happy with it. It has Inteleon. And it also has the Suyan Braviary. 
a very cool Pokemon in my opinion. But I'll probably take a, not, not like a break from Pokemon, but expect less Pokemon content than what I'm normally posting because the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom collection is actually coming out tomorrow and your boy will be grinding, so. We'll probably do one, maybe two Pokemon vids a week. All right, GG to my man, by the way. Let's get our next one. 2-0. Oh. Like I said, the team works. Hisu and Samurai put in work. Ooh, this is cool. Revival Wrestling Claude Sire. High Drapple action. Uh, I don't even know how I want to handle this. Once again, I think I can just set up with Golden Go and start sweeping stuff. But... I don't know for sure. Um, I also don't know what that Clodsire has. My guess would be Water Absorb, but hard to say for sure. I actually think leading Rillaboom Pelipper is decent here. Eh, well, hmm. I do want to bring Samurott. Because Knockoff works against a lot of this guy's team. I want to bring Golden Go or Arch. I think I don't need a Moongus here. Especially with that Armor Rouge. Hmm. I'm weak to the opponent. I'm going to bring our Chaladon. Yeah, I'm going to bring our Chaladon. My guess is that high that hydrapel that hydrapel might be assault vest. It might be. Um, I actually don't expect him to bring cleavor at all, which is why I'm comfortable bringing our child on here. Okay, this is fine. So we got fake out pressure immediately, which is not great. Um, but we set up rain here to shorten that damage of armor cannon. We're gonna protect here because we don't want our sash to break. And honestly, if they give us the fake out, I think we might take it. Because this thing is sash, so I actually want to fake out the... What's it called? Wonderful. Uh, what we got coming in here? Probably Clotsire. Yep, so the Clotsire definitely has water absorbed, or else he would not have made that play. Which also means that he's probably going for double shock with this uh, Pelipper. Oh, upper hand. Very cool, very cool, very cool. That's also fine. Um, we are Sash, so it's not like I air that much what he goes for. Uh, well, actually, hold on. Is Clotsire... I think Clotsire's physically bad. I think... I can't remember, though. Yeah, Clotsire's physical defense is not great. So knockoff will do a lot of damage, so I'm not concerned. Um, I do want to get rid of this thing, though, I think. Altera, why not? Why not? I suspect him to attack my Rillaboom here. Yep. I only did this so we can maintain Sash. I don't suspect him to attack my, uh, plots, my Pelipper with his Plot Sire. Poison Jab, yep. Should live. Cool. Don't get poisoned. Eh, bummer, but not the worst. Not the end of the world. Um, so he has... What was his last Pokemon be? Hydrapple seems... Hydrapple seems like a decent bet versus my team. Golden Go is also an option. I would be shocked if it's Cleavor. So what we're gonna do... Uh, I actually suspect him to Grass Terra here. My, uh, 
really on this team, I actually suspect that this armor rouge may be max speed. There's no real reason for him to be lower. So I'm actually gonna pop Tailwind here. And Woodhammer. And we did confirm that his armor rouge is faster than my uh, elements. Wonderful. So our Rillaboom goes down here, which is perfectly fine, because now we can bring in uh, our guy with no problem. Um, who do I want to bring in? I'm gonna bring in Samurai first, because I think this may scare his uh. Armor region to tearing immediately. Yeah. I'm gonna hurricane this slot. We're gonna knock off this Idrapple. Let's see if he grass tears. He does not. That's just wonderful. Okay. Dang, he has Rocky Helmet, but at least we knock it off. Oh, wait, no, we don't. He has Sticky Hold and not Regenerator. And he doesn't Terra this thing either. So lame. What is with people and not terroring today? What is with people and not terroring? So weird. <laughs> it's so weird. I guess he didn't think I had Weather Ball. I did. It's not like I showed it, so. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I didn't show Weather Ball. Okay, you hit yourself, it's fine. <laughs> you hit yourself, so it's fine. Okay, so honestly, we'll just... Um, well, mm. how do I lose this is the question. I could Snarl here, but I don't know if it kills the Armor Rouge. And now you tear a leg it. Oh god, I hate this game so much. Oh, it was Ground Terra. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I'm getting these Terras all wrong right now. And you're not even going to protect. You're dead. Oh my god. Okay. Fine. 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 So he probably knew I had Weather Ball. Terroring just would not have helped him. <laughs> oh my. Oh, his thing had Sash. Oh my god. Okay. And I still died, but... We lowered his special attack, so we should be able to clean up. That's really annoying. <laughs> That's really annoying. Brain stopped. Grass disappeared. Um. We'll go flash cannon into Draco. That should kill. Oh, dang, he doesn't even have special... Okay, he has, like, no investment. That doesn't matter, I live. But we don't even have to risk a miss here. We can just go for Flash Cannon again. No reason to risk a Draco miss. Alright. 3-0 and is not bad at all. Don't crit me. Thank you. Alright. So, my Terra knowledge is clearly terrible. <laughs> it's clearly terrible. Because all of these people are running Terras that I'm not expecting. But it kind of just begs the question, why even Terra then? You know? And, or why not just Terra early? Like, it's not like it really matters. Very weird. Very weird. But Sash Armor Rouge, eh, that's not like the most uncommon thing, I suppose. And the fact that he didn't use Meteor Beam at all, I could have guessed it wasn't Power Herb. Yeah, okay. That kind of makes sense. 
Alright, let's get one more. 3-0 and is pretty solid, though. Alright. Last team, and it is a cool one, I will say. Alright. Um... How do I want to handle this? Honestly, do I just set up Golden Go again? This works unless he leads Golden Go himself, which honestly, I don't really expect him to do. Oh, we gotta showcase Amoongus at least once, right? We haven't used Amoongus yet. Alright. Yeah, we're using Amoongus, but how do I formulate my team to make it work? We will not bring Rillaboom. Yep, we'll do this. We gotta use we gotta use Amoongus at least once, folks. We got to. This ain't a competitive video. <laughs> We gotta showcase the entire squad. And of course he leads with Golden Go. Do we have the same lead? We do. I think he's faster than me is the question. Honestly, with a lead like this, I suspect that you're not. I'll do this to start. I just want to see what he does. I suspect that we both do the same thing, but... His Amoongus is actually faster than me, which also is a bummer. Yeah, we're going to Nasty Fly, and he is faster than me. This is the only reason I did this, because I just wanted to get confirmation. can't curse the market, excuse me. Um, so yeah, we'll just do this. <laughs> we'll just do this. We'll be in the same spot. Can't believe we have the same lead. Ugh, what a bummer. Cannon's going goes faster with me. Also a bummer. Oh, hmm, I could've water tear at this, uh... Wait, no, nah, nah, there's not much of a reason to. If he wants to go for make it rain here, I don't really care. He drops a special- okay, we're speed tying with the Amoongus, which is cool. Or he's not going for- what's it called? Yeah, he does go for Make It Rain. I don't care. You can lower your special attack right back. I'm getting rid of your Amoongus. Honestly? Honestly? Okay. Well, uh, I want to pollen puff my golden go, kind of. But... If he shadow balls, I'm dead. So, I can't. Okay, that's fine. Um, you did have a Incineroar on your team, didn't you? Got a Porygon. That's fine. Cool.
Okay. <clears throat> so his last mon is probably Ursaluna. But honestly, I don't really mind if he sets Trick Room. Oh, actually, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I do, actually. He could switch out his, uh, what's it called right now. If he gets this play right, he wins. Okay, that's fine. He doesn't, which is cool. He does go for Trick Room, so... Um, the question is, does he just switch out here? Yeah, just in case he switches out, I'm gonna make it rain. Why would you recover? Okay. That's pretty good damage. Um, he probably brings our Saluna here. Yes, he does. Question now is, does he protect and get his burn up? My guess would be no. I don't know if my... Did I live ahead long rush? I need to preserve my golden go. That much I know. Well, let's see if we do. And we can just Draco. Let's see. He also has not Terra Jet, which is kind of scary. Okay, so he doesn't, Tara. Which is nice. Let's see if we live. I don't think we would have had long rush, honestly. Oh, he attacked my golden go. Oh, big mistake. Let's hit this Draco. Okay, so this pul this Porygon is just gonna sit here and recover. Alright, that's fine. If we hit this Draco, it's gonna be great. Wonderful. Big Draco. No reason to risk a potential grass terra. We'll just weather ball. We have sass to protect ourselves. Well, actually, we can kind of just waste another turn. It's not like it matters. He has two more turns. And eh, nah. We'll we'll wait till last turn. He might switch out into a Moongus to get that last turn of Trick Room. I want to do this. Okay, if he goes for Rasad, I'm dead. Oh, I actually live. 
I am the I am the greatest. It's actually insane how crazy I am. Insane. That does nothing, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. And we'll just double hit Amoongus here. He can only score one of us. This will also cover a potential Water Terra or Fire Terra. Or maybe, what Terra would it be? Uh, what a fun. I don't want to predict, but I will for the sake of it. It is water, so we got it right. But he's just gonna spore my uh. Our child. I suppose I could have switched my child on out. What? Oh, he's wanted to get rid of the stat changes. I dropped his special attack so much. Okay. Smart. Granted, last. That was your last use of your trick room, which, eh, yeah, right? Well, he can't do anything to me, besides Pollen Puff, and that does nothing, so... Um... He said it's Trick Room, it's not gonna matter, like... I'm just gonna Nasty Plot. Yeah, that's fine. You can't damage me at all. Nothing he does will kill me. At least my one sleep turn. Well, then we'll just do this. We'll be good to go. I'll be right back. One sec. Of course it does nothing. Okay, we're back. I'll probably edit that part out. But we killed his Amoongus essentially, obviously. I think he just Pollen Puffed me and then Ice Beamed me, so. <laughs> that does absolutely nothing. So, oh, we'll just weather ball, make it rain for game, and just like that, we got four straight wins with the squad. Let's go! We're the best. We're the best. This team works. I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. We raked up in Master Ball tier, which is very nice. Ugh. I really like this team, man. I really do. Combines my playstyle and my favorite Pokemon pretty well. And it's also just good. At least in my opinion. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Average Gamer, signing off. I'll catch you guys next time.